In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. In two days, August 14th, we're going to be celebrating the feast day of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Here you can see a picture of St. Maximilian Kolbe with a relic. St. Maximilian Kolbe is a saint that had great devotion to Mary. He actually gave his life for a man during the time of Hitler. He was actually put in a concentration camp in Auschwitz back in the early 40s and um, a prisoner escaped and 10 would have to put to death because of one prisoner escaping. So lots were chosen and 10 men were chosen to die. It wasn't Colby, but a man whose name was Francis cried out and said, I can't die. I can't die. I've got my wife and my family. And Colby stepped forward and said, take me. The uh, German commandant was stunned that he would come up out of line, breaking line, and uh, asked, who are you and Colby without any identity crisis? said, I'm a Catholic priest. So Colby offered his life for this man and was in this concentration camp in the bunker for a long time. And he only had one lung that functioned. He uh, sang with those others that were in the bunker, and they were actually starved to death. He prayed the rosary, he heard their confessions, he encouraged them. And um, he spoke about the Immaculata. He had great devotion to Mary, but especially the Immaculata. That was his uh, special devotion. And all of them died, nine died, and Colby was the most tenacious. He didn't die until finally they, they injected carbolic acid in his uh in his veins, and then that took his life. I happened to be at his canonization in 1980 in Rome. John Paul II canonized him. And he was proclaimed a martyr, but a martyr of charity, because he gave up his life for another man in imitation of Jesus, who gave up his life for us. So in a couple of days, we'll be celebrating this great saint, St. Maximilian Kolbe, who loved Mary very much. He, he, his feast is August 14th, and the following day is a feast day of the Assumption of Mary. So in honor of Maximilian Kolbe, may God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.